Physics teacher explains. So what happened here was, when you light a candle, what happens is the heat from the candle causes this wax to melt. And when the wax melts, it then gets drawn up the wick due to capillary action. So now what we've got is melted wax up here, and then the flame causes it to vaporize. So it vaporizes, and then the flame causes that vaporized wax to combust. So it combusts, releasing your heat and your light. But when you blow out the flame, this wick will still be hot for a few seconds after. So because it's still hot, some of that melted wax will still vaporize. So now what we've got is we've got some unburnt vaporized wax and we've got some burnt, unburnt carbon particles. And that's why we see the smoke because of the unburnt carbon particles. So when we bring a flame over and that flame then, the heat from the flame hits the unburnt wax, the vaporized wax, it will cause that wax to reach high enough temperature to combust again. And when it combusts again, that heat will then travel down all the other unburnt or vaporized wax particles until it hits the wick again. And the wick again, remember it's got that melted wax in it and it's got a high density of those vaporized wax particles around it, causing it to relight. Follow me for more physics content like this.